Good day everyone! In this video, we learn how to solve routine and non-routine problem involving addition and subtraction of fraction. Problem solving has long been recognized as one of the hallmarks of mathematics. According to George Polya, solving a problem means finding a way out of difficulty, a way around an obstacle attaining an aim which was not immediately attainable. There are two classification of word problems. Routine problem Uses set of prescribed or known procedure rules to solve problems. It is a translation problem for which you can write an equation. It is a type of problem which there is an immediate solution. It involves using at least one of the four arithmetic operation and or ratio to solve problems. Non-routine problem In non-routine problem, enhances critical thinking, flexibility, thinking out of the box, innovation, imagination, and creativity. It is mostly concerned with developing student mathematical reasoning power and fostering the understanding mathematics is a creative endeavor. There are four steps to master your problem-solving skills. First step, understand. You should identify and understand what the problem is asking, what do you know, and what do you need to find out. Second step, plan. Decide on the strategy to use to solve the question. What math skills will you need? Make a plan to solve the problem. Third step, solve or evaluate. Set up the appropriate math operation and formula to solve the problem. Fourth step, check. Now for the most important step, check your answer to make sure it is correct. We can use a Gonza method. A for what is asked. G, what are the given facts? O, what operation to be used? N, what is the number sentence? S. What is the solution to the problem? And A. What is the answer? Let's try to answer this problem. Rachel rode her bike 3 port mile on Monday morning and 1 8 mile on Tuesday. How many miles did she ride altogether? What are the given facts? Rachel rode her by 3 port mile on Monday morning and 1 8 on Tuesday. What are the problem? The problem is the total mass did ratio ride. What operation do you use to solve this problem? Let's go back to the problem. Because of the word altogether, you can identify what operation to be used. Altogether means additions. Set it up here. 3 port plus 1A. What are the steps to answer this? Just follow the step in adding the similar fraction. Make common denominator, add the numerator, and keep the denominators. Find first common denominator of 4 and 8. The common denominator of 4 and 8 is 8. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. And 1 multiplied to the numerator, so 1 times 1 equals 1. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Then multiply it to the numerator, so 2 times 3 equals 6. Now we can add fraction. 6, 8 plus 1, 8 equals 7, 8. So the answer is, Rachel rode her bike for 7, 8 miles altogether. Let's try to answer this non-routine problem. At a party, all the guests are seated around square table that are joined together. Each table can sit two guests on each side. There are 100 guests, so how many tables are used? Step 1. Understand the problem. In understanding, you should identify how many guests are there. How many guests can be seated around one table? How many guests can be seated around more than one table? And what do I have to find? Second step, plan. You can act it out or draw a picture. 
Step 3. Work out the answer. So there are 8 guests can be seated around one table. You can draw a picture. 12 guests can be seated around 2 tables. Let us find out so how many guests can be seated around more tables. The first and last table will have 2 extra guests seated at the sides. 100 minus 2 minus 2 equals 96. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Each table can sit 4 guests on 2 sides. So 96 divided by 4 equals 24. So there are 24 tables are used all together. So the last step is check. Did you answer the question? Is your answer correct? 24 times 4 equals 96, then 96 plus 2, we have 98, then 98 plus 2, we have 100. That's it for today. Thank you for listening.